file name, you pick a file, and you click on the upload so it pops it up. So that's a really simple process. Anyone can do that. The next thing that you do is click on the link that says Remote Upload. And in here, there are a few fields that you fill out, namely the uh, um, title. Now, I actually went ahead. I don't, I don't know if you sent me the um, keywords or not. I did. Oh, you did? I sent them to you by email, and I used a bad word as the subject line. You did? Yes. So I'm going to move that out I'm of the way. With halls. So okay. you, you don't want to pull that up on me. I, uh, I won't. Okay. Well, what I'll do is uh, I'll edit that portion out. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and then uh, we'll come back to it in just a moment. Yep, there it is. Okay. So what I've done is, uh, is I've pulled a report to find some of the best converting keywords for my dog business. And now I'm going to use Traffic Geyser to get this video ranked uh, high for some of these keywords. So the first keyword is... Let me, uh, uh, let me pop it in here. Pug training. Oh, okay. Ladies and gentlemen. All right. Pug so I'll just, training. there you go, pug yeah. training. So, all right. And I'm going to scroll up so everyone else can see this, and I'll move it, slide it over a little bit. Isn't that fancy? Okay. And I went ahead and just kind of made something up, but we had, uh, you, you know, we just called this free dog videos, how to train your dog in 15 minutes or less. So maybe uh, we'd say free pug training dog videos. Yeah, just pug training videos. Oh yeah, videos, there we go. How to train your pug in 15 minutes or less. Yeah. That's interesting that so many pug people are buying. Huh. Interesting. Yes. Okay. Fascinating. Okay. Really. And uh, the rest of this is the same. Yeah. Um, I just grabbed a, uh, you know, again, the first part of your screen, your, your website. Mm -hmm. So I always start with the domain I want to send people to, which is freedogvideos.com. You're about to learn secrets that most people will never know about training dogs. Um, and then, you know, we might want to say um, your pug, including. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, generally speaking, you want this to be as short as possible. So I'm just going to copy that uh, description here. And paste it in our description. And what's nice about this, what you're going to see is this nice little pattern very quickly where um, what Traffic Geyser let us do is templatize this process so you never have to type everything again. We really have to go through this one process once. Cool. And after that, you're just resubmitting the same video over and over again. Awesome. So uh, then we'll go and um, paste this in. So, so basically what we're doing here is we have a title which is our media title. And then we're going to pick a file that we just uploaded, and that was the thing that you did. So maybe the, uh, uh, let's see, we have version 2 and version 3 dogs and version 4 dogs. Now these are, just to clarify, these are all the same movie. I just exported them to different formats. Right. And uh, while you're typing, I guess. Yeah, I'll go ahead and talk the, a little bit. The that. reason I do that is because you can submit the same video multiple times. And the way you get away with doing that is you might have a QuickTime version and an AVI version and an MPEG version and so forth. And uh, when you do that multiple times, you get multiple listings in all these different video services. And Google loves them, so that inc increases your likelihood of getting ranked. And uh, it's really easy. You just, I use a program called Visual Hub to format them into different formats. You don't have to shoot the same video a bunch of times. You shoot your video once. In this case, it's just, well, you'll see at the end of our video, it's just a simple little screen capture, nothing fancy. And uh, I shoot it once, and then I just format it in different ways. Good, so I, uh, and I, I grabbed some things like misbehaving dogs as keywords, and uh, let's see, I did train, training, um, let's see. Uh, video tips, dog tips, et cetera, et cetera. So the only other things that we do here is we just go through and, you know, pick what kind of, uh, we'd call this an educational, so we're categorizing it. Pop in our website, URL. And then um, we pick our uh, profile that we're going to be uploading, which I hope is this one here. <laughs> I'm not really sure where you have your... Uh, I, think we, I think we screwed it up the first time. It was Frank Kern 11 or something. Is it? Okay. All right. I'm going to assume that's the case. So, uh, 
And here I just selected all the videos and it's giving us some, some uh, errors. It says the length of the video description is above more than allowed length of this site. So I'm going to just cancel the ones where it says it's going to have problems. Incidentally, the video is right around five minutes long. So that means some of these sites like really short videos. When, when encountering this, I advise you just to not worry about it and move forward. Yeah, that's, that's what I'd say. So um, I think for a lot of these, um, I could go in and, and shorten the description. And I'll just add that right now, I just did a video actually late last night about a bunch of additions that we're adding to Traffic Guys. We actually completely have rewritten it and we're redeploying it in the next two weeks. Mm. We quadrupled the speed that it submits and we've made this process even smarter. So it actually warns you by changing the color of each one of these to red and green when Ooh. it's going to fail ahead of time. So it actually predicts for you All the right. success and failure rate. So that's just a nice little thing we're adding. Um, the next thing we can say is whether or not we're going to submit to a bunch of uh, uh, blog sites. And this thing will automatically submit to blogs. Now I just clicked on this and it said that it, the video description is too long. So I think I'm actually going to just, you know, shorten it. Maybe take that last sentence or two off. Yeah, I'm going to get uh, training your pug. Let's see. Let's go like that. <clears throat> Again, this will get them, get them going. I mean, if someone doesn't come to the page, you know, because of that. So let's just see if any of these other ones are going to choke. Yeah, we got about three or four more. Okay. Nice. Good. All right. And then uh, we go down, and I actually created a little podcast uh, channel called Free Dog Videos. The reason I did that is um, if you um, submit your video to a podcast feed, there is a high probability it's going to show up in a matter of a couple of minutes. That's one of the ways that we got our video um, accepted so quickly. So again, I'm going to nice. just uh, shorten this one more time. I'm going to make it really short just in case. So that'll pretty much guaranteed go through. Awesome. All right. So the last things I'm going to do here, um, I'm going to just copy and paste this so I don't have to type it. Um, we also will convert your video into an MP3 file automatically. It's one of the options you have here. Mm -hmm. And it can also transcode it into a format that will work with iPods and Apple TVs and that kind of thing. So another super cool thing. And I just paste our URL in as many places as we can. Sometimes they say, hey, what credits do you want to give? What name do you want this to be associated with? Well, I always just put the URL in there because the more times that thing shows up, the better. And the goal of these videos, remember, the video is going to be listed in your, in your uh, in natural search results. And it's, going to, it's actually going to be a page on somewhere like YouTube that comes up. So people are not going to go to your website to see the video. They're going to go to like YouTube or something, and they're going to watch your video. So it's important that you give your real website address in the video. And you'll see how I did that in, uh, in mine when you see it. So what happens is they watch the video on YouTube or something. The video is basically saying, hey, go to my website for more cool stuff. And then they go to your website and opt in. And that's exactly how I got those 500 leads before Mass Control pre-launch started. And I didn't even really say go to my website. I just said, like, oh, my website is this or something like that. And people yep. went. So it was really cool. It worked really well. Okay, so the last thing that I'm going to put on here is I can tell this to save this as a project, so it's going to save this, this template mm -hmm. so we don't have to fill it in one more time. The next time all we're going to do is change pug to a different dog breed awesome. and then resubmit. Cool. So uh, I'm also going to tell it to submit to social bookmarking sites. We actually submit to about a dozen social bookmarking sites right now. That's going to increase in the future. And then if you want to be notified by email, I never do. You can basically tell this thing, hey, look, 